Hello, Steve Hassan here to explain a little bit more about the strategic interactive approach. Uh, we have a link to an earlier video I made a few years ago explaining the evolution uh, from deprogramming to exit counseling to the strategic interactive approach. But I wanted to just uh, put in this video some essential things to think about that this, this method that I've developed is highly customized to fit the specifics of a person's situation within the context of a particular controlling person or group in the context of society and the world. Um, and what I wanna do is understand as much as I can about who the person was before. And then I want to meet with family members, friends, and assemble a team of ethical, trustworthy people who genuinely care about the person. And we want to meet for a couple of days and do an intensive where I not only learn everything I can about that person and their family of origin and dynamics, but I also want to teach about cults and brainwashing, social psychology, about communication techniques and strategies that work, as well as evolve a strategic plan for how to organize the resources we have to systematically and ethically hone in and empower the person to think for themselves and make their own decisions. So one essential key with strategic interactive approach is that it's not about persuading the person to leave the group or to leave the person, a uh, kind of right, wrong, all or nothing frame but it's a learning growing frame that's heavy on the emphasis to learn how to communicate effectively, heavy on developing rapport and trust uh, skills as well as activities to build that relationship and asking very pointed directed questions in a loving, curious manner and giving a long silence that pro provokes the person to really answer it going on inside where whatever they say, we ask for more information so that we, the, the theory and my experience is that our best ally is the authentic self of the person and that deep down inside they want to be free and they don't like to be manipulated and suffocated in a totalist relationship or group. So that if we engage that person, they will tell us what they need in order to make that move to step back and begin to be open-minded to learn about mind control, phobias, other groups. So it's all customized. Uh, it does take a lot of time. It does take a lot of effort. It does take financial resources and it really takes a commitment. Um, my cases that are successful uh, are, are demanding in the sense that people have to make a space, a compartment in their life to make it a priority. Um, they still may have to work and they still may have a family and they may have other children, etc. but they need to dedicate themselves. And I try to complete a case from three to six months, maximum a year, if people really roll up their sleeves, I'm willing to commit to, to help them. And again, the idea is not um, uh, pouncing on them or making them meet for a three-day surprise intervention like uh, exit counseling was or deprogramming was, but this is more like engaging them to become curious and motivated, to be open-minded, do research on the internet, be willing to meet other people. And it's very effective. And a number of my clients this past few years have said, hey, if anyone wants to talk with, with us, uh, we'll be happy to, uh, to share uh, our positive results. So um, thank you very much.